Um, we got about uh, 300 miles left, yeah. so uh, 2,178 total. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it's been been quite a journey. Quite yeah. a journey. And, and when did you start? And when did you start? Um, well, I started uh, actually last year. I hiked from Georgia to Connecticut. That's kind of where I fell in love with it. Um, injured my knee in Connecticut last year, so I uh, started uh, January 14th on the Florida Trail down in the Everglades this year, and basically been hiking up uh, from there. Um, why? I don't 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 really have a great answer in that for that other than you know, always loved uh, the outdoors, always loved just kind of the adventure aspect of it. Uh, it was always just kind of a I don't know, a dream of mine. I always, I, I never really thought it, uh, thought it'd be possible. And you've done it straight through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. In my opinion, yeah. And you got to go north, I think. Um, Cold other, last night, though. Yeah, I mean it, it's, yeah, but you know, got a jacket. I mean, <laughs> sleeping bag, <laughs> tent. It, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, what did you, uh, what did you learn by doing this? What experience stands out for you? Really, that uh, you don't need very much stuff to, to survive and to make it and to be happy. I mean, uh, I mean, I, everything I own, I carry on my back, and it's pretty liberating, pretty, pretty freeing to uh, to basically have my house and all my possessions just on my back, ready to go with me anywhere so I need to go. Somebody who wants to do this, what advice would you give them? Go for it. Do it now if you're young. If you don't have a lot of things holding you down, if you're just getting into a career or something like that and you think it might be something you're interested in, put everything else on the back burner. It'll be a lot easier to do it sooner than later. And the trap is equipment. Don't buy too much stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You're, do research. You can, everything you need to know is online. Just go online and look up what other people who have done it and what they did. And, I mean, if it worked for them, it'll probably work for you. Okay. You will. Great. And what's yeah. your, what's your um, trail name? Junesy. How'd you get that? It's actually a uh, Confucian monk. The term comes from the Confucian religion, and it's someone who's like kind of at peace with that. I take it more to be um, kind of like uh, people should not be complacent about what they believe. I think they should think about what they believe and then try to embody what they think is the right way to live or the right way to be in the world. And that's kind of where my trail name derives okay. from. Excellent. And what do you do when you're not hiking? When I'm not hiking, I uh, own a small movement company at home, which is on the back burner now, so it's not, not running, but uh, I'll be starting that back up next week. Where spring. is home? Sorry, what's that? Where is home? Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Yeah. Your, yeah. your name on the trail as well. Lando. And how'd you get that? Uh, after Lando Calrissian kind of came up one day <laughs> that I looked like him. Uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Like a little... <laughs> I need mean, to get that a little bit more neat, but... Okay. Yeah. And and uh, and uh, where do you come from, and, and what do you do when you're not? Uh, I live in upstate New York, right outside Albany, and uh, I was I worked at a like wine and liquor store. Yeah. Got to know the industry pretty well. Did you guys know each other? No, no, not you guys just uh, just yeah. met yeah. each other. Meet on the trail, yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think we can all say we came out here. So you 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 all started this alone? Uh -huh. yeah. I just just found people along. Yeah, I had a buddy with me, but he threw in a towel. The people that you meet, I think, is is. Is key. I mean, right away you start uh, start meeting hikers. You're all kind of the in the same boat together, and and you know you uh, you form pretty lasting, uh, pretty pretty tight friendships. Um, and then uh, experiencing all the the local people and the little towns that you come through. Uh, we have a, a thing called a, we call it trail magic. You know, when people just do nice little stuff for us. Uh, so I mean, that group together is really. I mean, you know, that's that's what I think keeps us all hiking is just, you know, who am I going to meet today? What what great thing is going to happen? Um, so yeah, it, it's I think I think that's the biggest part. It's just uh, it's just the the friendships, the bonds, you know. Yeah. I mean, where you're from? Uh, my where I go by uh, Cope on the trail, and that's not. I'm, oh, you have a trail. Oh, you have a trail name. Trail name, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what's uh, the story behind that? Well, uh, last year I, I kept breaking stuff uh, pretty much right away, and uh, but I didn't let it bother me. I just said, "Hey, I'll, I'll cope with it somehow or another," and just kind of stuck. People just started calling me Cope, and that's a uh, that's a pretty good name. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, mean, I'm, you... I'm, wanting to, I'm wanting to get a dog and name it Hagen, so it'll be Cope and Hagen. So that'd be <laughs> pretty sweet. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. and what do you do when you're not hiking? Uh, I have a degree in electronics. Uh, do a lot of uh, shutdown type work uh, when factories shut down. 
Um, you know, we kind of go in. So I work maybe a couple weeks, a couple months at a time, save up some money during that time, and then go hike. So you live to hike? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The old joke around here has been that uh, uh, hikers come with a five dollars in their <laughs> wallet and a change in a, and a pair of underwear, and they don't change either one. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but uh, that's the jo that's the joke that always seems to that. No, uh, yeah, it uh, it will especially uh, I would say by this time in the hike, you know, getting pretty pretty near the end, a lot of people are, are running out of money a little bit, um, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not all that expensive to live on the trail either, though. You know, we buy cheap food, and you know, we're not spending money on motels or nothing, so it's uh, it's relatively inexpensive. Yeah, great.